Now in order to create a 3D solid from this, we have to switch over to the modeling mode. So we're going to go here and change from the sketching, and we're going to click here into modeling. Now as you can see here, the sketch is now outlined in blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to go here and we have now a new sketch under the XY plane. So clicking on this plus button will expand this, the first sketch that we created called sketch 1. Now in order to extrude this sketch, we can go and click on this button here called extrude, or we can head over into the create button and click on extrude from there. So let's go and click on that right now. Now the first thing it asks you is to select the geometry that you want to extrude. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and click on sketch 1 here, and we're going to click on apply. So the geometry is now set to extrude sketch 1. The next detail it asks you is what type of operation do you want to do. So here if you click on the drop down we have a few options. We have one which is called add frozen and the other one which is called add material. Now the difference between these two is that add material will add a material to the, an existing body. So let's say you sketched an object and then you create a sketch on top of it and extrude it. It will combine those two sketches and those two extrusions together and it will create one new body. If you want to create two separate bodies, then we would use the option called Add Frozen. So for now, we're creating our first body, so we're going to keep it as Add Material. The next parameter here is the direction vector. So here we're going to choose, if you click here, we have the direction vector. It just has none, so we're going to click on Apply and leave that as the default. Now the direction is normal to, so normal to our sketch plane. So it's going to extrude, if we rotate this out, we can see here that it's going to extrude it into the plus Z direction. So now what we want to do is actually reverse this just for the tutorial's sake and put this in reverse. So that's going to extrude it in the negative Z direction. Now there is also a few other options that we can use which is both symmetric and both asymmetric. So if we wanted to extrude it in both the negative and positive Z directions we can use this button here and now you can see that we have an extrusion in both the plus Z and the negative Z directions and the depth is 30 millimeters but let's say we wanted something asymmetric we can click on this parameter here and now you have two depths, one for the normal and one for the reverse normal direction. But we're going to go and just use the simple reverse direction now. So click on that for now. And next what we're going to do is choose the extent type. So the extent type basically has a few options as well. So here the default is fixed and depending on if there were other bodies in this you would see other options here. So you'll see this in a few moments. The next parameter, as I said before, is the depth of the extrusion. We're going to go and change this to 60 millimeters and then hit enter. There's another option here if you want to extrude this as a thin surface. The default is no and we're going to keep that as no for this because we want to extrude a solid body. And finally here it asks you if you would like to merge topology and this is if you have again multiple bodies. If you'd like to merge the surface topology, the default is yes. So again, we're just creating the first one here so we're just going to leave this as yes. Now once all that's done, as you can see here in the status bar at the bottom, it says click generate button to complete the extrude. So the generate button is located right here and we're going to click that to create our extrusion. And there you have it. So if you'd like to remove all these sketch lines and grid lines, we can go and click on this quick toolbar button called the display pane button and then that will get rid of all that for us. So now we have our base which we'll be using to fix our lifting lug to. And at the left here, you can see that it added in the tree outline an extrude. So if we click on this right here, we'll see that it used the sketch one in order to create an extrude of 60 millimeters. So if we ever wanted to change some of these parameters, we can go and change the sketch right here. And we can also go back and change the extrude properties if we made a mistake. So let's collapse that right now. Next, you can see here underneath, it created one part and one body. So let's go and click on the plus here and now we see we have a solid that's been generated. So this solid now has a volume, surface area, number of edges and it gives you a bunch of properties here in the details view about the solid. Now is a good time to go and rename this solid to base. So let's right click on this and click on rename and we'll enter base and then hit enter. So now that our base is created we're going to go and now start designing our lifting lug.